The film Way of the Dolphin is currently in production in Grand Bahama. This sequel to Eye of the Dolphin has brought a larger cast, a bigger budget, and has brought together more Bahamians to the production than in the past. Kenai Media visited the set of the film and spoke with director Michael Sellers about how films can impact the local economy. Any film spending that you do, there's a multiplier effect as it trickles through the system, so that's, that's an important thing. I think in our case, in the case of independent films, I think is, you have to look both at the, the economic impact and also the training technology transfer, because we're the ones who come in here and try to hire local people to do things and train them to do things and so on. So I would say that we have you know, a modest economic impact, but it's a you know, substantial one, and certainly in a community like Smith's Point, which is pretty small and we're based there and we're trying to be as, as, as helpful as we can there. Um, but also, uh, you know, more people are getting trained to do jobs, so when more films come here, they don't have to bring as many foreigners, and I think that's also a good thing. The Bahamas has seen a growing interest in the movie production industry, with recent films like Casino Royale, Into the Blue, and two of the three Pirates of the Caribbean films choosing the Bahamas as a major shooting location. Bahamas Film Commissioner Craig Woods told us about the vital relationship between filmmaking and our number one industry, tourism. Well, uh, I think uh, you're using some of the same emotions in terms of the, 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 vis the visual content. Uh, the Bahamas is, is, is a visual gem, and so uh, the water, our research has shown that 85% or higher of the people who come to this country, they come for the water. So we think that's a big correlation. Uh, we can provide the hotspot for any production, and the hotspot is the water and, and the wonderful uh, shoreline and vegetation. We think we dominate that more than any other country in the world because we have so much of it in abundance. Way of the Dolphin is using innovative technology to reduce costs and speed up production time. Director Sellers said that this digital shooting technique has allowed them to use two cameras and doesn't compromise quality along the way. Although Way of the Dolphin is a small budget independent film, Sellers said that there is a tremendous business opportunity for the Bahamas for these types of films, with more than 1,500 movies produced in the United States for under $1 million. And I think the thing is that there's a lot of films that would, would, would consider coming here, and so you might have a lot more small films instead of just a few big ones. And so, you know, I think that would be something good. As far as the filmmakers go, they just have to get out there and do it. You know, that's the thing, and they're doing it. They're really great people, and they're really working hard with us, and we're happy to work with them. Mr. Woods says that the Bahamas has current incentives in place to attract more film business and is actively developing new incentive packages. But we think the biggest incentive is the fact that we have trained crews, we don't pay any taxes, uh, we have a, a, a film commission both uh, here in Grand Bahama as well as in Nassau and we have uh, support people in the islands like Exuma, Eleuthera and Abaco who understand production and uh, we are the one-stop shop uh, for film production companies coming to the country. On the set of Way of the Dolphin in Grand Bahama, for Kenai Media, I'm Eric Russell. Mm -hmm.